It's April 30th, and I did a little video on Instagram recently about Corpendi Plat, which is one of my latest blooming varieties. It's actually the latest besides Dabinet, which is strictly a cider, cider apple. But I thought I would walk around and look at the latest varieties here. I probably had over 250 varieties at one point. I don't know how many I have now, but over 200. So we're just going to see what the latest ones are for the sake of those of you who live in frost pockets, and I'll probably comment on a few of them as well. First stop is suntan. As you can see, it's kind of in full bloom. It's maybe a little past the peak. Yeah, I'd say it's a little past the peak, but it's obviously a fairly late bloomer. Now this apple is a cross between Court Pendu Plat. Remember? I just said that's my latest blooming dessert apple, right? This is Court Pendu Plat co crossed with Cox's Orange Pippin. By all accounts, um, this is a fantastic keeper. I've never tried to keep it. Mine usually get water core, but I think it's worth experimenting with and the flavor is very, very interesting. A lot of tropical fruit flavors. It's a sharp apple. I mean, it's got a lot of acid, but it's also got quite a bit of sugar and it's got tons of interesting flavor. This is a very interesting apple. I'm trying to do some crosses with it this year. I've gotten, I think, one seed to sprout ever from this plant because it's a triploid, which means, you know, whatever, I don't know what it means. It means the genes, it's not very fertile. And um, some people I think would say you, you just can't get anything out of it, but I've gotten one seed to sprout and it didn't survive and I don't remember why. But I probably made, you know, eight or 10, yeah, 10 or more pollinations on this this year. So we'll see if any of those take. Now, if we look at Franken tree here, there's a smattering of blossoms here and there, but there's not a ton. This one is a very highly rated apple by a lot of people, and it's called Rubinette. And it's um, also a Cox Orange Pippin offspring, like a lot of great apples are. And it's on the late side, but as you can see, it's mostly finished. This is Franken tree, and it has 150 varieties on it, so we're really looking at the latest of the latest. Here's Brownlee's Russet. That seems to be pretty late. Has a high reputation. I'm not sure I've actually fruited that and tasted it yet. All right, this one's called Sunset. I don't know much about it. I know it was on my list to get for a long time. I think it's a good keeper, you know, thus the name Sunset, like it's a late apple or maybe it's a late hanging apple. I don't remember. It's mostly done, but obviously it's a little bit later than most of them. Here's another one up here. Let's find out what that is. This one's Cornish Gillyflower. Okay, up there, that's King's Acre, or I believe it's King's Acre Pippin. Not sure, I think I fruited that one and it was unimpressive, but that doesn't mean it's not good where you live. Okay, here's another one right here that's late, and this tag had fallen off recently, but it says Old Non Pareil on it. I think that was in my Christmas apple tasting a couple years ago, so that's a good apple. Um, it's good here. I'd say it's very good here. Excellent. I wouldn't, I wouldn't rate it excellent, but I think it's probably excellent elsewhere. It has a great reputation. Um, this is Wittick Pippin, which I'm very interested in. I've only fruited it, tasted it a little bit, but I'm definitely already impressed to the point where I've already used it in some breeding efforts. So that's encouraging. I think this one's definitely one to look into. Um, again, it's a late hanger very late but i don't know maybe you can pick it and then ripen it in storage if you have a real cold climate and this one is very late fenno fenwale i don't know i don't speak french this looks quite late actually uh one cluster is in full bloom and two haven't even opened yet now this is a young branch in the shade so that could affect when it blooms but i'm going to say that's a late bloomer you see those pink blossoms up there? That's uh, grenadine. It's a red-fleshed apple, and it is a fairly late bloomer as well. It's mostly done, but, you know, there's quite a few blossoms on it, and I definitely noticed, like, I was waiting for it to blossom so I could use it for pollinating. I'm going to have to climb into the tree to find out these last couple here. Okay, well, that one, we lost the tag. And this one is Pinova. What a terrible name. Pinova. P-I-N-O-V-A. I don't know who names apples, but they need to, like, change the way they name apples. Because 
So many apples have these stupid marketing names. They're just not classic names at all. All right, well, let's head to the garden. Here's Rubenette again in a different spot, and it's not, you know, most of it's done. It's not super late, but it's definitely on the late side. And worth mentioning because it's such a highly rated apple. For me, it's, it's very good here, but it's just never really wowed me. This is Sweet 16, uh, which is actually quite late. It's mostly done, but as you can see, there's a lot of blossom left on it. And compare that to like this whole row down here where there are just very few flowers left. Here's one over here. Mr. Prothero. Never had that one yet. Here's King David. Again, it's mostly finished, but it definitely bloomed a little late. I feel like it bloomed really fast, you know, like it started about with Sweet 16, but Sweet 16 right down there, where is it? There's Sweet 16. Ayo still, you know, got a lot more blossoms on it. But yeah, King David is, it seems like a little better on the later side. It's definitely not an early bloomer. So here's a real late one. This is Harry Masters Jersey, but it's strictly a cider apple as far as I know. I think it's a bittersweet. Um, not, not totally sure of that. I don't think I've ever actually fruited it and tasted it, but uh, that's definitely a late bloomer. One last stop here is Lady Williams. This is a very, very late ripening apple, so it makes sense it would bloom late. It's mostly done blooming already, um, so it's kind of in that category. Not super late, but definitely on the late side. And last but not least, or last but most, is Court Pendu Platt. This is a excellent eating dessert apple. It has a pineapple flavor, which is no doubt where uh, Suntan gets its pineapple flavor, and it's very late blooming. If you want to know more about this apple, watch Stephen Hayes on YouTube. And he does a lot of uh, fruit reviews and stuff about growing apples and heirloom apples and stuff like that. Very cool guy. Great channel. Very inspiring. It's inspired a lot of people to grow apples and other fruits. This year I'll be crossing this with Golden Russet, which I think is a very promising cross. Golden Russet has a very complex, high flavor. And I think the, the great flavors of this, especially with the pineapple flavor, will mix really well. And uh, Golden Russet also has extremely high sugar. So we'll see how that turns out in five or six years, hopefully. Five to eight years. All right, that's it. That's my 200 plus varieties of apples and the very latest blooming of them, at least here. And some good apples in there. Really, wow. I mean, Rubinette, Suntan, Sweet 16, King David is on the latish side. Yeah, some really good stuff in there. I'm gonna go say hi to Gus real quick. He's hungry, as always. He's either hungry or he's sleeping. Aren't you, Gus? Aren't you? Thank mm -hmm. you.